is club soccer better than high school soccer? Final answer, let's get into it today. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna give you my direct answer because of course it depends. But the bottom line is, I'm the college soccer guy and I hope we play college soccer. But the bottom line is that club soccer is better than high school soccer. Now there are exceptions. There are certain academies or what we call boarding schools, Shattuck, St. Mary's, Black Rock, that are very, very good when it comes to high school soccer. However, for the most part, club soccer is better than high school. And it has to do with the really relatively simple concept, which is club soccer tends to attract the better players. High school soccer, anybody can play high school soccer. You can go to high school and just join the team. What has happened is over time, coaches and players and whatnot have said, hey, look, this level's not quite enough. Why don't we take the most elite players, have an existing club team and travel them around the country where they play against the best teams and of course in the united states that grew relatively rapidly and now there's literally hundreds of thousands of different club soccer teams when it comes to the college recruiting process club soccer is a must if you're going to play college soccer and that pretty much goes for any single level even the lowest levels of uscaa which is another league this other than the ncaa you must be playing club soccer now there's a couple reasons one Theoretically, there are better coaches. You can train more often because it's year round and you're going to tournaments. So the competition is better. So then inevitably you will get better as well. In addition, your club soccer teams should also be having showcases. Now, this is why I get very specific as to which club soccer team you're going to pick. So here are three questions I want you to ask when you're looking around for club soccer teams, if you want to play college soccer or if you think you might want to play college soccer. Number one is you're going to ask that coach and that team and it does vary per team not necessarily per club so you're going to ask your specific coach coach how many showcases are we going to try and go to this year that's really important because if they say we don't know that means they're not thinking about college soccer and that's not good for your son or daughter and here's another problem i am not affiliated with any club soccer team i choose to help club soccer teams because i want them to play the kids to play college soccer but i'm one of the few people that is not directly affiliated so i can tell you unbiased information which is if you ask most club teams they don't like when i tell you hey you need to leave that club team for a higher level team because then you're going to stop paying for that team and you're going to leave to another team and that is a problem for the back end of the club soccer team because they get money based off of you working together i was told recently by a club team if you ever mention leaving our club team to a child then I don't want you talking to them. And I go, look, I, I don't care about your club. I only care about the genuine aspect of the students. I care about you. And you have to know the reality, which is the higher level club teams you play, the considerably more likely it is you're going to play college soccer. Now, this does vary. Certain coaches you're better off staying with. Certain clubs within the age groups are better off than going to MLS Next and ECNL team. So it varies. It's not always higher is better. It does vary. But my job here is to help you guys find the right school for you no matter what. And I do not have the interest, frankly, of the club soccer teams. If anything, I have a little bit of angst and angriness towards them that they wouldn't tell you the full truth. Because at the end of the day, when you grow up, you need to have made the best decisions for yourself. And the club teams are looking out for their best interest. So you need to look out for your best interest. Now, I'm frustrated because I think club soccer teams, since they know more than you as a parent or a student, should tell you the truth and go, hey, if you play for our club team, you're going to have a wonderful experience. Here's the type of experience you will receive. Here are the chances of playing college soccer if you play at our club. And voila. But they're not going to tell you the truth because, again, it could hurt their back end at the very end of it. So when you're picking a club soccer team, you're going to ask them, how many college showcases are you going to? How many students have you helped play college soccer and most of them will tell you they've helped quite a bit and they'll say this coach has helped this many people and this coach used to play college soccer or this coach is actually a current college soccer coach so that question is not super helpful but a little bit helpful and then the final question is based off of what level you have seen from me how is it that i can get an evaluation from you the club soccer team as experts in the college soccer recruiting process what level i should play you need to get an honest answer from your club coaches. And if your club coaches, which they should give you an honest answer, which most of them are very good about, but you don't like the answer of it, well, that's not the club coach's problem. But there's also a balance. Sometimes the club coaches don't want to give you a blunt opinion because they're worried you'll leave the club. And again, comes back out of the back end at the very end of the day. So, and sometimes coaches are paid by, when they bring on a player, they get like a bonus. So of course that's a conflict of interest. So then they'll be extra nice to you, even if it maybe doesn't serve your best interest because club coaches don't get paid very well. So 
what I want you to do is when you ask that question, what level do you believe I am? And they say to you, you know, I don't think you can play college soccer as of today. You should go, thank you so much. I so appreciate that feedback. After all, I'm only 14, 15 years old. What should I do to improve? Then you go work on those things from a soccer perspective. You go work on some things on the off the field perspective, which is where I come in in the recruiting process. And now maybe at 16, you ask the same question. You go, coach, do you believe I have the opportunity to play college soccer? If so, where? Then they go, you know, I think you play division three. Then you say, coach, who is it that you recommend I reach out to? Could I put you down as a reference? Don't give the coaches a lot of work to do. They have too much work to do. Make their lives easier. So say, coach, who do you recommend I speak to? Oh, okay, I'll go reach out to them. Is it okay if I add you in my email as a phone number? The coaches are absolutely fine with that. But if you start asking your club coaches, hey coach, you said I'm division three level, will you call all the division three schools in California and uh, make sure that I get on a team? The coach may say to you, yes, of course, like let me get on that. But then frankly, they never do because they're too freaking busy. Now, if I was your club star coach, what I would literally tell you is, I'm not gonna spend any time on you unless you spend time on yourself, which is you go write some emails, put me down as a reference, if you cannot get a hold of a coach, then maybe throughout the process I will give them a call. But just so you know, they don't actually want to hear from your club coach 10 times over. They want to hear from you 10 times over. If your club coach calls them and says, this kid's really good, and the coach goes, well, I haven't heard from the kid once. I don't even know if he wants to come to our school. Then it's a waste of time. You as the student need to put in the work first. Then you can start to ask your coach for help and guidance. And you have to remember, there's 20 of you who all are asking the same thing which is frankly why I exist, because club coaches, as well qualified as they are, they're maybe not called recruiting experts. They're, most of them have either played called soccer or know people or certainly have, are, are well fashioned in that world, but they're busy to do other things, which is why I got started doing what I'm doing, because when I was playing club soccer, there was nobody who was like, here's exactly what you say. Here's the subject line. Here's the video. You need to change this clip and this clip over and over again after every highlight video, after every, every touch video. That's how nuanced that we go because again, that's my only focus is the recruiting process. So when it comes to the club soccer team versus high school, the high school soccer teams just get less exposure. There's not that many coaches going to those games. So inevitably, it means that you're not gonna get as much exposure when you're playing high school soccer versus club. Now, can you do both high school and club? You can, unless you're playing MLS Next, and then there's a caveat to that. If you get a written letter, then you can still play high school and MLS Next. But we have a student right now, they're like, Zev, I just made my MLS Next team, I'm super excited, but I don't wanna miss my senior year of high school. I like my teammates, I like my coach. You know, as an enjoyment perspective, I don't wanna miss it. And unfortunately, college coaches don't really care about your enjoyment. They care about can they see you and how many times can they see you. So for this student, I said, look, if we can get you your dream school before the high school season, then great. Then we don't have to worry. You get to have your high school season and you got yourself a college offer. But if we don't get it and you really want to play college soccer, which is what you're telling me you do, then you may have to miss your high school senior season. And I think there's a, because of American culture with movies and, and college football and college and high school, sorry, high school football and high school basketball, there's this camaraderie. When I grew up, I hated high school. I hated my high school. I didn't like anybody at my high school. All I wanted to do was play college soccer. So for me, I was playing JV soccer as a junior at Agora High School. Uh, it was, you know, I liked my friends and whatever, but to me, I always just saw it as a tool. I wanted to use that to get to the higher place. I wasn't like, oh, this is my, I love being with my friends and playing soccer. I'm like, I'm using this so I can go become a better soccer player. And it just so happens there are players here and I enjoyed their company. But for me, it was always a stepping stone. So if you're like, I love high school soccer, you know, this is my experience, I, I'm gonna cherish this for the rest of my life, then maybe you should stay in high school soccer. But if you're like, the goal for me is to play in college, that's my dream, and maybe even pro, then you will very likely have to make the sacrifices and leave high school soccer, which is not fair necessarily. The recruiting process is not fair, it's not right, it's not functioned well, but it is, this is how it is if you wanna play college soccer. And this is why less than 5%, less than seven, five to 7% 5 to of kids will play college sports because you guys have to do what the other students are not often willing to do, travel, expenses, leave your high school soccer team. Now the beauty is high school soccer, your enjoyment of high school soccer, if you love high school soccer, odds are you're gonna really love college soccer because it's basically the same thing times five to 10 because there's more players, it's a little bit bigger, it's slightly more, pressure it's really exciting it's super fun now i would also say and this is different for everybody i don't remember high school personally like i'm 30 now i just turned 30 two days ago i just don't really remember high school soccer my college experience 
oh my gosh, like I remember all the social events, I remember the games, I remember my teammates. So for me, it was, you know, it, it meant so much more to me. And so that's why for me, college soccer was so crucial. And again, college soccer for me also happened to be a stepping stone to help me play pro soccer. So for you guys, if you're serious about playing college soccer, and I'll say maybe even pro, but specifically college soccer, you are likely going to have to miss out on much of your high school experience. The social aspect, I missed prom. I didn't go to any of the dances. I had soccer practice. And for me, I loved it, so it was easy. But for some of you, it may be really difficult. And that's a good thing to know because then maybe this journey's not for you. And that's okay as well. At the end of it all, now that I've played college so I played high school, I played AYSO, played high school, played college at the division one level, played pro soccer. Now I'm sitting here and I can tell you right now, I'm really grateful because I go play soccer now. As it happens, I'm the owner of a semi-professional soccer team now alongside my brother and soccer has just you know, changed my life. And so of course I'm biased to this amazing experience and I technically am still a professional because I pay myself and I pay my brother and I pay a couple of players on our team and I still get to live that professional soccer lifestyle, which couldn't have been possible if it wasn't for college. And now I get to help you guys on that journey of playing college soccer, which for me is just like so much fun. So I would like to share it with you. If you would like more help, click the description below. Give me a call. Links there. And I'll talk to you guys soon.